Learning is a lifelong journey. No near destination. Take that to heart. You are fighting your way deeper into Von Holland, Keep going. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands. Back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. 
Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to behead Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the God of Dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. for this attempt, perhaps. Valhalla, isn't it? Well, we'll see what else we can find in here. Careful, who knows what's waiting for you in that mist. Shield strike, snap!
I think we're meant to choose one chest or the other. Shall we have a look? Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. Maybe just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. <laughs> Anything seem worth the risk? Hey, 
Excellent. We should be clear. Up and onward. <laughs> Even a short-term advantage could pay off. Hello again, Kratos! And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life! Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles! Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, 
not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like... judgment. Decisions, decisions. Watch 
attacks from underneath! was here. Hurry up and make a decision on my account.
Incoming die! with a trident? Round unkill. Oh, this one. I want to say, Troglodyte, it's charging at us. Yeah. <laughs> 
left alive. Guess you've paid your dues to Valhalla for now. Yes, pick something and let's go. This one looks easy, if easy is what you're all about now. Look at you, kill the right foe in everything. Incoming die!
On your right. and skewered all their heads with it? Take your sweet, sweet time. Welcome back, Kratos. 
I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? Be ready! Go! Don't hold back! I won't! Tell me, Kratos, truly, how did it feel to plunge your homeland into darkness? I did not intend the land to suffer, but I was indifferent, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel, in that moment, your soul given over to darkness? Bringing a darkness over everything you could see. It felt... true. Darkness come! Your turn! Outstanding technique. Darkness comes. Your turn. Come on, get to the light. Be ready. Your strength lives up to reputation. I yield. I yield. Good then. I don't think you were indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait. Is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But this memory happened before I killed him. 
My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach, then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. It seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... No, I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger. It's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. Sigrun, inside we encountered a son of Thor. It wouldn't really be him in there. I can assure you, you have a memory of a past fight, and I'm sure Valhalla takes advantage. But why him? I don't think that's for me to say. Well, something for us to ponder in between melees. Valhalla is a place of constant flux. Shield made it. Gives... Please accept this. One step closer to mastering Valhalla. I'll tell you more of my story now, if you care to hear it. I am listening. If you remember, my father had fallen ill. It was bad. An illness unknown to us. I offered to fetch the mage healer from the city, but my father refused. He insisted herbs were the only way to help him. You can guess what happened next. He was gone before the spring. I was devastated. In time, I grew to hate my father's philosophy, and dedicated myself to healing through magic. It was a blind rejection of an entire field, because I believed it failed my father, because I blamed his death on his faith. The truth is, I traded one limiting perspective for another, but I wasn't ready to see that yet. That's a good place to stop for now. Hmm. Great progress, but always more to be done.
Back to my story. You may speak. So, there I was, little Miss Brawl Magnet. If I wasn't starting the fight, I was the first one charging in to join it. Maybe it's something in the Asgard water. But it seemed like there was always a fight to be had. I guess I needed the rush. Something to keep me sharp, feeling alive. I was driven without fear or, frankly, much sense to hold me back. Got myself a bit of a reputation, and that ended up being a problem. This notorious bully I'd humiliated held on to a grudge and tried to track me down. Found out way too easily who I was and where I lived. Set out to teach me a lesson. We'll pick it up there when you progress further. Hmm. 